Uh, my name's Hannah. I'm 26 years old. I live in St. Paul, Minnesota. I currently work in the live entertainment industry and ticketing. I skated competitively all through high school and then into my first two years of college and like my workout routine was just made for me. I had to show up at the rink uh, an hour before to do off ice where we had like cardio and muscle training and stretching and all of that like it was already all built and then skating like I didn't even really realize I was working out because it was an activity so the weight just kind of like stayed off because of these things that I was doing without thinking about it and I also had this routine where I was able to eat whatever I wanted <laughs> because I was just gonna work it off later then when I stopped skating and then was working at a desk job. Like I lost all of those routines and I still had the same eating habits. I like, I didn't change those, but the actual activity itself went down substantially. I would get up and just go straight to work and not think about what I was gonna eat that day. And then I'd be like, wow, it's two o'clock and I'm starving. I'm not gonna make it till dinner. And then I would just eat crap because like I had to order food to be delivered to work. So then, yeah, I mean, fast forward to the pandemic. I was home all the time, so the fridge was right there. And like snacking went up a ton. I wasn't really paying attention to what I was eating, when I was eating, how much I was eating. DoorDash was being like advertised everywhere as like the no contact food delivery. Like I feel like it, the pandemic just like made it really easy to have terrible habits. And I'm like, I had this also just mindset of you can't eat anything good if you're trying to lose weight. Like you have to yeah. give up everything. I like having wine with dinner. Am I gonna have to throw that away because that's like the most caloric alcohol in the world? I like my sushi, that's rice based. There was also the, like that concept of like, oh, it's only 10 pounds, I'll, like, I'll take it off later. Or like, oh, there's still three months till I have to be seen in shorts, it's fine. And then it was like, okay, now you have 20 pounds to take off. Okay, now you're like inching towards that 200 mark that you've been afraid of. Look at that, you're over it. And I think like, I just got into that cycle of like, I'll fix it later. It's fine. Like, so mm -hmm. it's the, just like the procrastination mindset, but then summer hit and I was like, I don't like I, you, I, you would invite me to the boat that Matt's house. And I'd be like, oh, I can't because I was like, I'm not going to put a swimsuit on. And like, I was wearing jeans and a long sleeve t-shirt on like 90 degree days. Honestly, the biggest one was the nutrition side of it. Like the videos, really helpful to see like how much of this should be on your plate. Like when you're sitting down, like what portion of this should be this, what should be this. And yes, there should be a carb on it still. Don't yeah. cut out your carb yeah. completely. Mm -hmm. So the whole concept of like figuring that out to then be able to like make a meal that's actually filling and not just walking away from it. Like I had a rice cake and three stalks of celery. I'm full. <laughs> like having a meal that actually feels sustainable, starting with the small habit and building off of it and not trying, cause like I am the biggest criminal of like jumping into this whole big ass thing and then being like, well, <laughs> I failed again. I'm shocked. <laughs> so I think like the, one of the biggest things was that like baseline where you just start really small, then it becomes a lot easier to like add in another habit and add in another habit. And then all of a sudden, like you feel like you actually have something started. I think once you start building like the little habits, it feels a lot easier to make the healthy nutritional choices a daily thing and then not feel bad. When you're like, I'm gonna go to all you can eat sushi tonight. What up? I'm gonna have two glasses of wine. Like, <laughs> I think I don't feel as bad for then going and eating some of those things that like other diet plans are like, say goodbye. Like, I don't even really think about it anymore. I'm like, like my brain just kind of goes to like, I need this and this and this, and I should eat this much of this and that much of that. And like, my brain just kind of does it. I don't even really feel like I was trying to lose weight. Overall, in two months, I lost 15 pounds from an uptick in my like, general activity level and but like primarily eating right. I like stepped on the scale out of curiosity and I was like, oh my God, how did I lose 15 pounds this fast? Like I, I was still having a drink when I wanted it and not feeling bad about it. I was working at the state fair where it's terrible foods galore and I would eat something from the fair every day. 
-hmm. I wasn't like, you know, eating everything in sight, but I was like, I want to try this one thing today. I'm going to eat this one thing tomorrow. And so I had something that is considered terrible for you every single day and still managed to lose the weight because on top of that one thing, I was still eating the way that I normally would because of those habits that I had built. And like, it's still like the weight still dropped off and I wasn't even trying. So I had to go to a wedding last week. Like, obviously you want to look confident, but also like there's always going to be that part of you that wants to look good <laughs> um, yes. or yes, what you exactly. feel is good. And for a very long time, I wasn't in a mindset where I felt like that was even possible. I put on a pair of jeans that I haven't put on in like a year, probably. I went to a wedding at the beginning of June where I was like, I want to curl into my own skin and like not be seen here. And then fast forward, what, three and a half months. And I like didn't worry about what I looked like to other people because it's the best that I felt in a long time. So I was like, your opinion doesn't even matter. Like, I feel great. I look great. That was a big thing because right at the end of the pandemic, I again, like I was afraid to even be seen in, a, in shorts. Cause I was like, oh, my thighs. Oh, stretch marks. Oh, like whatever. Um, please do not take a picture of me. Um, here, let me take that picture actually. One, I would say that if you're waiting for the right time to start, it's not going to happen. There isn't going to be that like light bulb that goes off that's like, you're ready. I don't think that it's like, oh, well, once I get through this big project at work, I'll be ready. Or once the kids start preschool, I'll be ready. I think it's just you have to be like, OK, it's a Tuesday. Let's go. Like, it's a day that ends in Y. Like this program specifically and like, well, and like, working with Josie specifically, I would say there's an actual feeling of support. It's not like you're going to a gym where the people are like the personal trainers are paid by this big establishment to be there when you show up. Like this is the self-run company where the person running it just wants you to see results and make those long-term goals. Like I don't, you're not supposed to be a client forever either. Like big, big box gyms want you to be a client forever. They want your money. They want your memberships throughout the program itself. Like there's someone that's actually there to support you and actually gives it <laughs> and actually cares if you, uh, you can say and so, actually yeah. gives a fuck. You can say it. <laughs> but when you look at like going to one of those chain gyms, that's not the same caliber of care that you're getting. I I think a lot of us have a tendency to base our happiness on our appearance. Definitely think that instead of basing like my happiness on it, I just like, there's a different found confidence that I had when I was younger and looked a different way and skated because I'm doing something for myself. Um, not because of how I am perceived by other people, which is what it was prior to doing all of this.